Well, back here in the United States, nearly two dozen lawmakers on Capitol Hill are demanding answers following the FBI's recent arrest of a Catholic pro-life leader. In the letter released earlier this week, Republican Steve Daines called the FBI's treatment of Mark Houck, quote, chilling. He also accused agents of using excessive force by arresting the father of seven in front of his family. Houck is charged with violating the FACE Act. If convicted, he faces 11 years in prison. And we are joined now by Peter Breen, an attorney with the Thomas More Society, who is representing Mark Houck in this case. Peter, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Uh, first off, what is the latest with this case? Can you give us an update on where things stand now? Well, after the outrageous and reckless raid on the Hauk family home, Mark was taken into custody. He was released uh, a $10,000 bond, and we have pled not guilty this past Tuesday in Philadelphia. As you noted, lawmakers are livid about the treatment of uh, Mark and his family. They had at least 20 federal agents heavily armed in his front, front lawn uh, with, with ballistic shields, helmets, long guns pointed at him. Uh, in you know, seven o'clock in the morning, such that uh, they ex executed this arrest warrant in front of his wife, his seven children, uh, who were terrified. And so uh, we had offered to bring Mark in if the, the government decided to charge them. We also sent them case law showing that there is no case here. And instead of allowing us to bring him in, they decided to do a massive show of force to try to intimidate him and any other pro-life person or person of faith in this country that might want to stand against the abortion regime. You know, I'm curious, you know, we had mentioned Mark is charged with violating the FACE Act. And also for those who aren't familiar, could you explain to us exactly what this is and why he's being charged with violating it? Well, the, the FACE Act is the federal law that uh, prevents folks from it keeping people from getting abortions or blocking entrances to abortion clinics. What happened here is uh, back in October of last year, 2021, uh, Mark was praying on the sidewalk with his 12-year-old son, well away from the entrance to the Planned Parenthood, the primary one in Philadelphia. Uh, abortion escort comes up to him, starts harassing his child. Uh, you know, altercation ensues. He tells him to get back. Altercation ensues. And uh, the other gentleman uh, claimed he was a victim. He, filed, he asked the Philadelphia DA to prosecute. The prosecutor declined to prosecute. The guy brought a private criminal complaint. It was later thrown out by a state court judge uh, because the, uh, the alleged victim didn't uh, bother to show up for the hearing. And that should have been the end of it. Instead, the Department of Justice from Washington, D.C., so we found out that it's being run directly from headquarters. It's not being run locally from Philadelphia. Uh, in D.C., they decided they were going to try to make an example of Mark even though there were no clinic patients around, they weren't near the entrance to the abortion facility, and at least it's our contention, the abortion escort was the aggressor in this situation. We're almost out of time, but I'm really curious. I mean, how did it get to the level of the FBI? Do you know, have you figured that out yet? Uh, we don't know exactly how it got elevated, but we have, uh, we are bringing in the best criminal defense attorney in Philadelphia. He's one of the best in the country. Uh, that's not cheap. So we are asking folks to go to defendlifetoday.com, defendlifetoday.com to see more about the case. Please pray for the Hauk family and our lawyers, and then you can also support us there as well. And really quickly, we're, we're almost out of time, but I'm curious, how is Mark and his family, how are they doing right now? You know, Mark and Ryan Marie, his wife, and you know, there's seven kids from 13 down to two. So as they said, Ryan Marie will tell you, the older ones, they're trying to process it. We're going through some counseling. Uh, the younger ones, it is very difficult. They watched their father be taken away in handcuffs on their front lawn by guys in big guns and lots and lots of law enforcement covering their front lawn. Uh, so, you know, look, it's going to be a long, difficult road for the Hauk family. They are entitled to an apology from the Attorney General of the United States, not a prosecution. Oh, Peter, we're gonna leave it right there. Thank you so much, and we will be following this case. Thank you. Thank you.